I made a post recently that got some people upset, and, and that's because in that post, uh, someone was using the term corrections, and I identified that what they were actually talking about was punishment. And uh, it, people kind of get emotional and upset sometimes when you talk about the word punishment, and they say, well, it's not punishment, punishment's abuse, and we shouldn't be doing it. But if you're describing something and um, calling it a correction, but the goal is to see a behavior stop or reduce in frequency, then you're, you're using punishment. So, for example, I've got my horses here. I'm going to turn them out in the morning. Let's say I go to turn this mare out, and she, every time I go to try and turn her out, she blasts through the gate as I'm trying to get the gate open. And this behavior is dangerous, and, you know, my life's at risk, and if I get injured, they don't get fed. So uh, I want to do something about it. So let's say I get my handy flag here, and every time she goes to blast through that gate, I wave my flag and it stops the behavior of blasting through the gate. I have effectively punished the behavior of blasting through the gate by adding something, a waving of the flag, to make her stop. And people use punishment a lot, and I get this, I used to be a trainer that used punishment a lot, um, because it can seemingly work, it can seemingly stop the unwanted behavior from happening again, but it can't address the underlying cause of why that behavior is happening in the first place. And with this mare, let's say that the reason she's blasting through the gate is, oh my goodness, there's an electric fence wire there. And it's shocking her. It's shorting out every time she touches the gate, every time she touches the fence, she gets shocked. She's frightened. And that's why she's blasting through the gate. Now I am punishing her fear-based response. And I might see a decrease in it. I might get it to stop, but I'm not addressing her fear. And I'm not even addressing the fact that the fence is shorting out and uh, it's shocking her. So yeah, the big primary reason that I don't recommend punishment generally, I haven't in over 10 years of doing this work and working with horses that have even serious behavior problems, is because number one, it can't address the underlying reason why the horse is behaving this way. Fear, pain, confusion, genetics, prior learning, you know, there's so many reasons why a horse can be displaying a behavior that we find problematic and using punishment can't get to the root cause of why it's happening and can't help us address that cause. There's all sorts of other uh, cautions about punishment, if we are gonna use it and how it should be used and when it should be used and why. But TikTok, short attention spans, short videos, that's all we're gonna cover today. Plus my horses wanna go outside.